Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today here at Flexo. Um, we'll be guiding you through the new customer experience 2302 release. First, a quick introduction from our side. My name is Tim Paukwitsch, and I'm a sales cloud consultant here at Flexo. And I'm joined here today by my colleague, Jeff. Hello, Tim. Nice to be here. I'm Jeff, and I'm the marketing cloud consultant at Flexo. Thank you. Um, so today we're going through the key features of this new release. Um, you'll notice there might be a bit less new features than you're used to. And this, of course, has everything to do with the focus on the release of the Sales Cloud V2. Chef, can you tell us more about that? Yes, certainly. Um, actually, Flexo will be implementing the new version of Sales Cloud as the first one uh, worldwide. So very exciting news, and uh, stay tuned. Definitely don't forget. Uh, let's dive straight in. Um, we'll start with the uh, Cloud for Customer release. A few key features we've identified are archiving, linking multiple opportunities uh, to a sales quote, and some minor UI improvements. To start off with archiving, new business objects have been added for archiving. This includes chat activity, contracts, emails, leads, um, messaging activities, and phone calls. Uh, this means that you can select any and all of these objects for archiving, set archiving rules, um, and this will make sure that your data is never outdated anymore in, in the system and that you adhere to any GDPR rules uh, to make sure that contacts are deleted once you've stopped using, uh, using them. The benefit, of course, is a greater flexibility and control for managing your data and system. Uh, first, you'll have to activate this in the system configuration. Um, here we see a screenshot of that. And this is where you can select which objects you want to use archiving for and uh, which retention rules you want to set there. Mm -hmm. Moving on to opportunities. Uh, it's now possible to link multiple opportunities to a sales quote using the Ask Successor action. Uh, previously, there was a one-to-one -one relationship, meaning you can only have one opportunity linked to a sales quote. And they've uh, at SAP expanded that now to uh, um, being able to link multiple sales quotes to, uh, to an opportunity. The benefit, of course, would be to have a more accurate representation of your business documents and their connection and not lose sight of any uh, sales quotes that are related to specific opportunities. This is enabled through a new functionality called Add Successor. Uh, you'll have to ask your system admin to enable this in uh, adaptation. Mm -hmm. And it's located in, under the Opportunities tab in a sales quote, which I will demonstrate now in the system. First, I'll navigate to the Sales Work Center. Move on to Sales Quotes. open a quote, and navigate to the Opportunities bar. Here, underneath the More button, we have the new functionality, Add Successor. When I click on this, uh, we can select a sales code I've prepared earlier. Then it's added here underneath the Opportunities. And I can add oops, one more. And once we've added that one as well, we now have a connection of two sales quotes to this opportunity. And then I can save. There's also a few minor UI improvements. Um, Maybe you're familiar with a scenario where you're looking for a specific uh, opportunity or anything, and you've Certainly. entered a lot of search uh, criteria, um, but you're not quite finding what you're looking for. Uh, instead of manually having to clear all the search fields, uh, SCP has added the quick clear filter button, uh, which is located here in the top of the toolbar. Uh, once you click on that, it will empty all the search criteria, and uh, you can continue with a new search. Another UI improvement has been the uh, enablement of the Kanban view for opportunities. It used to be uh, that you only had the list view for opportunities, uh, though some uh, of the users have indicated they prefer the Kanban view, and SAP has now enabled that feature as well. And it's located on the top of the toolbar and opportunities here. You can 
switch to the, the combo view right there. And that's it for the sales and service cloud release. All right, thank you, Tim. Next, I'll continue with the most important features of the marketing cloud release. Uh, similar as Tim, I've selected two of the features, but of course there are multiple others, uh, but I've selected the ones which I believe which will be most useful for marketeers or anyone using uh, SAP Marketing Cloud. The first one being the email lights. The user interface has changed drastically and I will show, show you uh, in a minute. The second being the automated matching of contacts to existing uh, accounts in Marketing Cloud um, being the second feature. So with that being said, I will just dive into the system as well. So for those who are using Marketing Cloud, this screen will uh, look familiar. And here under the Content Studio is where I create all of my uh, content. Uh, and one of those is the email light. If I now start from scratch and um, start creating my new email, um, you will immediately notice that the look and feel is enti has entirely uh, changed. The main advantage uh, that SAP puts forward is that it has a more broader overview of your email. Previously, there were side panels both on the left and on the right. Now it's all centralized on the right, which gives a much um, broader view of your email and how it will look like. Um, if it's, that's still not sufficient, it's even possible to um, expand it further by uh, collapsing the email subject and the preview text. Another item that uh, SAP has worked on uh, is the drag and drop feature. In the past, uh, every uh, designer had to first drag and drop all of the layouts. And as you can see, it involves a lot of clicks as you always have to go back and first decide on the layout and then next decide on the content blocks. Uh, this now has changed. It's possible to immediately drag and drop your blocks without uh, um, first adding the layouts. So as I just did, I just now quickly drag and dropped a text block, text block um, on top. Uh, and the same can be done for any buttons, any images, uh, you name it. Um, it's all easy uh, drag and drop feature uh, starting from Perfect. the next release. Looks a lot more intuitive. Yes, indeed, indeed. Um, so uh, with that being said, um, the second feature I want to highlight is the grouping of uh, different blocks. Um, if you hold your shift um, and you click on a certain block and you select then a second one, you see that um, the system groups those two blocks into one. And if you then click on this icon here, which is called group, then those are grouped and you can just copy them. Uh, so it's again, one click less as you don't have to uh, manually create each of those separate blocks, but now you can use one uh, big group. Cool. The final feature designing wise I want to highlight is the possibility to now also use uh, transparent background colors. Um, previously, it was always a color, in this case, white. Now you can also set it to transparent, and then the background will uh, show the color that is used in uh, the environment um, of the client. So those are the most important designing features. Um, next, there are some technical uh, features that are all, are all listed above. First, here you have the uh, informative icon, which gives the marketeer a uh, good uh, insight in the content size, which is important for deliverability of your email, for instance. Sure. And the word counts, uh, it gives them an insight on how much work they still have to do on their email. Then we have the grid lines. As you can see now, it all had some lines. If you click on this button, it disappears, which again gives you first insight in how your email will looks like. If that's not sufficient, you can use the preview um, functionality that was there before uh, already, but now it's uh, enhanced even further because you can select different screen sizes depending on the laptop that you use or if it's a desktop or even a TV or a mobile, an iPad, doesn't matter. You can choose and then the system will show you how your email will be received um, by the, the recipient. So those are the main features of the email light. To give you a quick summary, the main advantage is that you get a broader view of your email when you are designing it. 
it's easier to drag and drop with your layouts and the preview capabilities have increased even further. For the contact and account matching, I actually used TIN as an example. Um, let's assume that uh, TIN is filling in a form and he leaves his company. Now the system will immediately recognize the, the company and will link TIN to its new company. How can you do that? First, you have to enable the configuration, of course. It's in the application, check your marketing solution. It's very quickly, it's just clicking on a checkbox and then the system is prepared. Mm. Next, you have to, of course, um, also enable the form itself. Same, same principle, enable a checkbox and you're done. Then Tin will register himself for an upcoming event, for instance. He puts in his name, puts in his email with the uh, flexo.com domain, puts in the company that he works on and submits. And what will happen now is that the system will recognize the email domain from Flexo and this combined with the name Flexo, it will be listed below on the uh, under the company Flexo Contact, and Tim is now known as a contact person for uh, Flexo. So, also to wrap up, what do you need for the contact and account matching to be able to work? It's based on the company name and the email domain. You have to first configure it in your solution itself, and next, lastly, you have to uh, configure it also in the form. So that was it uh, for our uh, SAP CX release of 2302. If you want to learn more, you can always navigate to our website, flexo.com, go to services and customer experience. Um, I hope to see you in the next release together uh, with Tim. That's the way. See you next time.